a couple of these eShop demos are pretty good. I'm Jelly Sound, and I'm going to show you a few 3DS titles that may have slipped by your radar. The first is this little freemium Kirby game that came out back in April of this year. Jumping right in, it's a fun little deluxe version of a feature from the 3DS Kirby game Planet Kirby Planet Robobot. It's a fun little action RPG style game. It's got multiplayer options up to four people. Uh, it's pretty basic hack and slash for the most part, at least in the demo. Not in the demo. This is a full game. Uh, well, it's not a full game. It's uh, it's a freemium style game. But the gameplay is pretty basic. The little hack and slash here. You get the king, the giant, the giant Waddle Dee taking him down. Uh, one fun little mechanic are these. Uh, power tablets, which spawn in fragments during a fight. If you collect them, you and your team of Kirby's uh, will perform that powerful attack. And you'll see he's knocked out there. That's pretty fun. Like most other freemium style games, uh, including like Pokemon Shuffle, for example, there's a real-time countdown to refill your vigor, which is the uh, sort of stat currency that's used to go on more missions. Uh, this game has uh, spot pass compatibility, so you and your real-life friends can uh, sync up your games. If you haven't played Planet Robobot, it's essentially the same little minigame uh, that's in that game. This is like basically a little side adventure in uh, Kirby Planet Robobot, and uh, it's similar to a lot of action RPGs. If you've never gotten to play it uh, through Planet Robobot, i definitely give it a download. It is free. Uh, when you defeat enemies, you get items that can be used to, to craft more weapons. Uh, there's up to four Kirby's that you have. Uh, they each have little class-based RPG. Um, the main Kirby is a Sword Kirby, then there's Yellow, is he's a Mallet Kirby. And then Caster Kirby is the blue one. Uh, I believe he casts Heal. But it's a fun little simple uh, combat game. So there's a little time limit too, so... Uh, you also collect the power tablets in, in this mission, uh, yeah, they, they'll give you food, so you can use items on your teammates as well to revive them, and yeah, if you've, uh, if you like this kind of game, a little action RPG, uh, mission based, and it's freemium, so it's, uh, if you've got out of spare five minutes, two minutes in your day, you could bust out your 3DS, play a couple games, it's, uh, it's really fun. Speaking of... Uh, class-based RPGs. There's a me-based team fighter that hits the eShop next month, and I was skeptical about Metopia because I remember playing through Find Me and not being super impressed. But uh, there's a demo out for Metopia, and I've really found myself uh, enjoying it. I played a, I mean, I, I played and did basically everything that you can do in the demo, and you know, it's your typical. The me's have this quirkiness to them. That I find really uh, charming um, in this game. Yeah, somebody has stolen all of the faces of uh, every me in Metopia, and uh, to add insult to injury, they've put them onto monsters. So naturally, uh, your little me character is going to go through and fight the monsters and free all the faces. Uh, it's a lot more complex than Find Me and Find Me Two. Uh, there's a lot more RPG elements, but it's not so complex that it's. Uh, game that you're going to spend hours and hours in the menus customizing every little detail. So, it's again, it's a pretty casual RPG game, but a lot of people like that, so you might as well. Uh, the thing about this game that's really interesting is that if you play a lot of with friends on your 3DS, then you've probably acquired a lot of uh, me characters in your me plaza. And you can add all of those me's that are in your friend plaza to the game. Uh, every uh, non-playable character in the game, uh, whether they're an ally fighting by your side, or the villain, or just NPCs in the town, uh, can all be uh, custom me's that you that you know, and they're sort of just thrown in there. Um, and if you don't have a lot of me's in your me plaza, there's uh, plenty available online that uh, will just generate uh, in there. Um, the first time I played through, the town was filled with uh, U.S. presidents, but I know that there's uh, celebrities as well, and uh, you know all the Nintendo executives have Mies. So you uh, eventually get to choose a class. There are uh, several. 
Uh, your typical warrior, mage, cleric, and thief, as you'd expect. And then the unique edge that gives this, uh, this game that thing that other RPGs of its kind don't have are the classes of Chef and Popstar. Popstar uh, is the, I guess it's probably the, just the bard class. Does a lot of AoE damage. Um, I didn't make a chef, so I'm not exactly sure what the chef can do, but I imagine it would be pretty tasty. Uh, and yeah, you get to choose the face of the villain, which I thought was really funny, because uh, if you've got a friend enemy or a frenemy, you can make them the villain in this game. Um, you assign a villain, there's a mysterious benefactor who saves your party one time, and then you get several party members throughout the demo. Uh, you don't control their individual actions, uh, like a Final Fantasy type game. You just control your actions, and they, uh, they perform actions on their own. Uh, which makes it even, even less complicated as an RPG. Uh, but you can, through the manipulation of the relationship mechanics, do some pretty interesting things. Uh, at the end of every level, all of your uh, characters go to the inn, and you get to choose uh, who sleeps in the same room as who. And so they'll talk to each other, and they'll foster relationships. And then during battle, little uh, things will happen, like your character will try to impress another character, and so they'll do extra damage. Um, the music for this game is actually really nice. For a game that uh, I wasn't expecting anything from, um, I was really impressed with the uh, sounds coming from it. If you're a sucker for class-based RPGs and quirky, quirky games, these uh, the personalities that Nintendo has been applying to these Miis for like a decade, um, yeah, I'd give Miitopia a shot. I didn't think that this game would interest me, but uh, I'm probably gonna end up getting it. Yeah, you're given a little uh, little amulet in the game. And it's got a little sassy guardian spirit who uh, gives you basically your uh, RPG powers. <laughs> Gift of divine power. Uh, so you get to choose your job. Um, warrior, thief, cleric, chef, pop star, or mage. And yeah, then you get to choose... Uh, Choose your adventure. And I look yeah, the full game is probably gonna be way more expensive than the demo. And just the demo, I mean I think I sunk several hours to it. So uh, solid endorsement for this game from Jelly Sound if it's uh, the kind of thing you're into. And each level, you know, doesn't take a lot of time. So this is a game that you could play if you're standing in line, uh, waiting for the bus, uh, at the DMV, uh, yet time in between your classes. Um, in between rounds at VGC, uh, in between rounds at any FGC event, you know. Anytime that you find yourself waiting for five minutes or more, you pull out your 3DS, play a, play a couple levels of this game, and basically, uh, it's, it's pretty fun. So, there's one more game that I want to talk about. And it actually uh, was a demo for a game that came out today. And they pushed a bit at E3. Uh, it's called Ever Oasis. This is a sort of jack of all trades RPG. It has action, stats, equipment, crafting, base management, and even more stuff. Uh, the world is basically a desert, and there's a little spirit uh, that controls the oasis that uh, has befriended you as well. And your oasis will expand as you play through the game. People visit your oasis, and sometimes they'll stay, sometimes they'll just buy stuff and, and head back on their way. Uh, but there's so much customization that they were showing off uh, for the base. Um, you can extend uh, the roads, you can build new buildings. It's like a, a dark cloud style base, base management. Um, also, as people come in, you can you know, build chops for them, and just do other stuff. People who join your team, uh, you can eventually like, send them on missions, or you can go on missions uh, yourself. There's some games that are just the sending, sending people on missions. This game has both. You send out people on missions, and you can also go with them on missions. 
Uh, and then it turns into a little dungeon crawler style uh, hack and slash action RPG. Uh, where you'll fight enemies and collect stuff. Uh, the mission of the demo uh, is to collect five uh, cactus fruits, um, which harkened me back to my uh, time in Duratar collecting uh, cactus apples. So, uh, some nice nostalgia there for for me. But uh, yeah, the controls felt really nice. You've got several attack buttons. There's a dodge. Uh, you've got at least at this point in the demo, a little wind spell. Um, and yeah, the targeting's nice, the camera moves the way it's supposed to. I think the art style is a little odd, but uh, the amount of customization that you can just pop through the menus that you're able to do, um, either with equipment crafting or uh, adjusting just things about the Oasis, upgrading yourself and your characters, that uh, I think this is going to be a really strong title. Um, and like, yeah, I... I'm not a fan of the art style, as I said, but I know a lot of people, this is a really popular uh, game game style for them. Um, it reminds me a little bit of, like, Rune Factory, uh, mixed in with um, every dungeon crawler. Uh, I definitely get the demo before you buy it, um, although it is out today in the eShop, and I think they, they were often, like, pre-download as well. So, it's it's definitely available to you, but I'd play the demo first, uh, like I did. And, uh, also, if you wanna, wanna watch more, I know they put a lot of the footage, they played a lot of footage at uh, E3 during the Treehouse, so, uh, Nintendo Treehouse Live on YouTube has, uh, has some video footage of, of this game. So yeah, and you're out in the desert, um, there's no time limit out in the desert. Uh, that I could tell. Um, I think a survival mechanic might have been pretty cool uh, for them to do because, you know, deserts are pretty dangerous. But, yeah. There's a long slog back to your uh, oasis after after this game is completed. And <clears throat> there's a lot of menu options in this game. So, uh, if you're into RPGs with tons of customization, uh, that are pretty fun and intuitive to play, then this is a game that uh, that you will enjoy. Anyway, that's a wrap. I'm Jelly Sound. If you want to see uh, other kind of general gaming content, leave a comment and let me know. We're still growing this channel, so hitting the subscribe button would be amazing. And thank you so much for watching. That was a lot of fun putting this together. And I look forward to producing uh, more videos. So... Until next time, that's a wrap.